Welcome to day nine of the Relentlessly Pursuing Fast. I'm so happy you're here. I'm super excited because we are so close to the end of quarter one, which is amazing. I hope you are just as excited as I am. Do me a favor, leave me some comments below on how this has blessed you so far, how beneficial it has been to you so far. I'm happy to have anybody join you along on this fast. Have you shared it with anybody? I want to, you know, have a little bit of conversation with you guys down in the comments below. If any of you are new, I just want to give a little bit of background. At the beginning of the year, during my personal study time, I was praying um, to God just about wanting to grow closer to Him and wanting to experience a year like I've never experienced before. And so I was led to fast for the entire year, um, every Wednesday for the entire year. Um, and at first it was going to be a personal fast, but then one day during my study time, Holy Spirit placed it on my heart to share it with the public. And so I did, and we have been fasting every Wednesday so far this year. Today, like I said, is day nine, um, week nine. And so I do want to offer the invitation to anybody who has not joined or it's your first time seeing one of these videos. I do invite you to join me on this fast. It is for the remainder of 2024, every Wednesday from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. and standing from food. And drinking only water and the whole goal is to relentlessly pursue god as he relentlessly pursues us every day of the fast every week of the fast there will be a guided study that i send out through email as well as a song to accompany today so if you would like to join me there is a link below for you to enter in your email go ahead and do that for me and i will email you over all the details and every morning of the fast you will get the guided study the link to the video and a link to the song of the day okay so without further ado let's go ahead and hop into today's topic Life can be tough sometimes, like walking through the desert without water. But there's a special place where we can find relief. A place where God's presence is like a drink of cool water for our souls. In Exodus 33, we find Moses interceding for the Israelites after they had sinned by worshiping the golden calf. Despite their disobedience, Moses pleased with God not to abandon them, but to continue guiding them. They were on a journey towards the promised land. In response, God reassures Moses by promising his presence. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. This promise of rest is not just physical, but also spiritual and emotional. It is a deep inner peace that soothes our souls and restores our strength. The imagery of dew falling gently upon the ground is a beautiful metaphor for God's presence. Dew is often associated with freshness, vitality, and rejuvenation. In the morning, when the world is still and quiet, dew descends upon the earth, nourishing the soil and bringing life to dormant plants and green life. Similarly, when we are weary and worn out, God's presence descends upon us like dew, refreshing our spirits and infusing us with new energy. His presence awakens us to new possibilities and opportunities. It revives our hope and strengthens our faith and empowers us to face the challenges ahead with courage. When we feel drained and depleted, God's presence reinvigorates us, filling us with a renewed sense of purpose and determination. Psalm 1611 captures the essence of finding true happiness in God's presence. When we draw near to God and abide in his presence, he reveals to us the path of life, the way that leads to true fulfillment and purpose. In his presence, we gain clarity and wisdom, starting the best way to navigate life's complexities. God's guidance leads us away from paths that lead to destruction and towards the abundant life that he has designed for us. As you experience the joy and the refreshment of God's presence in your own life, share that blessing with others. Be a source of encouragement, hope, and love to those around you, pointing them towards the abundant life in Christ. Micah 5, 7 presents a powerful call to action for believers to actively participate in God's mission of reconciliation. Just as a musical instrument produces harmonious melodies, so are we called to bring forth a sweet melody of peace through our words, actions, and attitudes. This involves actively pursuing peace in our relationship, seeking reconciliation where there is conflict, and promoting unity within the body of Christ and beyond. This involves extending forgiveness, practicing humility, and striving to understand and empathize with others, even amidst differences and disagreements. By living in alignment with his truth and character, we become beacons of his light, drawing others into his presence with our words and deeds. Our lives should be living testimonies to the reality of God's love and grace, inviting others to experience the same transformative power that has touched and changed us. For more on dwelling in God's presence, I do have a link below to access the guided study for today. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I invite you to join me on this fast if you haven't done so. If you are joining me, joining me on this fast, please leave me a comment below. Just let me know about your experience thus far. Also, check the description below for the link to today's song. If you have not received the email, please let me know and I will add you to the email list. I thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this out to your friends and family to get more people to join us all year long on this fast. Until next time, I pray that you are blessed and I'll see you later. Trust in me I can't use it I can't
Just my